Hi, Jen Torres here. A really popular question I get from a lot of my clients is, what exactly is an HOA or what um, power does an HOA have over and why is there an HOA? Um, so just wanted to provide some answers to all those questions. So the HOA stands for Homeowners Association and, and what it typically is, it's a group of people that live within the community. They have to be homeowners and they're usually voted into positions. There has to be a quorum. So during um, either a monthly, quarterly, annual meeting, there has to be a certain number, a certain percentage of homeowners in the community there to vote those people into, into their positions or to vote on any topic specifically. So it, there's usually a president, a vice president, um, a treasurer, maybe a secretary, depending on um, how intricate the HOA is. And they make you know huge decisions for the neighborhood. Some HOAs have more power than others. Some of them just handle basic um, finances and things within the community. And some of them tell you what color you can paint your house or uh, how you can do your landscaping. Some communities are more um, cookie cutter and everything has to be exactly the same. And in other neighborhoods, it doesn't. So it really depends. Um, but typically what they do is they cover certain expenses within the neighborhood. Really, really low HOAs can cover something as basic as the landscaping or the sign by the entryway and cover nothing else, right? Um, some HOAs cover lawn maintenance and they'll cut your grass or they'll cover the cost of your roof if it needs to be replaced every few years. Well, they don't actually, they'll actually have it done and pay for it. Um, but other HOAs have more amenities like fitness centers on site, a pool, a, a water slide, a golf course. And of course, as the amenities increase, the price of the HOA increases. Um, there's also gated communities where you have to pay for the maintenance of the gates and pay for security guards on site, things like that. So of course, you know, as you start to get more and more features within a community, the price is going to be higher. And then if it ends up being in a, in a, a different neighborhood where the homes might be of a higher value then the HOA is going to be even higher. So um, one misnomer that is out there is that only townhouses and condos have HOAs. When actually single family, a lot of single family homes within the central Florida area have HOAs um, and they, are, they exist solely to keep the community um, going the way that it's been going, whether that's security, amenities, whatever the case may be. Um, in some instances, there's not just a community HOA, there may be a master HOA. And that occurs when um, there's multiple, like for example, Vista Lakes. Vista Lakes has a variety of communities, multiple communities, and they each have their own individual HOA, but there's a master association involved as well who kind of oversees everything. And um, you know they may be responsible for the roads that lead to each individual community. Or um, maybe there's just one huge facility that has the pool and the gym that's central for all of the communities and they cover that. Or they might cover all of the gated, it's, this is not specific to, to Vista Lakes, but um, they may cover the gated and security access for all of the community Whereas a smaller HOA might handle the trash and sewage and the, the specific lawn maintenance within that community. It differs according to each individual community. Um, so if you have a specific question about an HOA or a specific property, feel free to reach out to me. Give me a call, 407-534-0147. That's 407-534-0147. Thanks, bye.